2017 at UCLA. And they will put it in the air on first down, and they pick up a first down. Courtney Davis takes it all the way to the 34. It was one and done. He's off to the NFL. Mon facing pressure, lets it go incomplete. And Travion could when he gets it in the green grass out there. Two tight ends on the field for AM now, and a toss to Corbin. Corbin turns the corner. He's got the sideline, and he's shoved out of bounds after crossing midfield on a 20-yard run as he got to the edge. Second down, six. Mon over the middle, complete. Touchdown, Courtney Davis. 21-yard strike. And Jayshon Corbin helped out with a key block to make sure Mon was untouched. On second and three, Anthony D. Taylor has nowhere to go straight ahead. On third and 13, intercepted! Vitt threw it high to Shereed, and Leon O'Neal Jr. takes it away for AM. That is a great interception. Third down nine for AM. Mon to put it in the air. Gets flushed from the pocket. On the run, uncorks one, and that one is to Jamon Osmond, and he's got it at the one. What a catch and a 40-yard scrambling strike. Top it. <laughs> Look at this throw. Are you kidding me? Oh. Corbin again. And this time he punches his way in. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Innovative of a play as we've seen in college football in the last 25 years. Pressure coming. Vip thrown down on the first sack of the season for Texas A&M. It's a loss of six. A&M loads the box, and Taylor's got nowhere to go. Let's go down to the sideline. with Almost 30 million people, so just trying to meet everybody and make connections. You know, I still think you can be personable, but it's hard because there's so many people. Tyler Vitt scrambles out of bounds. At some point this drive. He had a rare calf injury that cost some time throughout camp. First down run and a physical run for Jayshon Corbin. It's a gain of 13. On second and goal. Mon keeps this one. A little stiff arm. Looking for the pylon. And Kellen Mon runs his way in from five yards out. Oh, yeah. And choose to play it. I think Will Greer is probably a great example. When he was leaving Florida, where can he go to have the most success and put up big numbers? What a great catch by Hutch White. He obviously ended up at Oklahoma, now starting for Cliff Kingsbury. And that's another pick. Miles Jones jumps the route. And Texas A&M with its second takeaway of the night. Hey, Vitt thinks he's got a guy open. And, ah, uh, nope. That's mine. Texas A&M rolling. Five reads on every single play. Mond off play action. Fires a laser complete for a first down to Courtney Davis. And Davis finally gets submarine inside the five. It goes for 25. To help build this program. Mond stares up, dumps it off. Touchdown to Jayshon Corbin. In front of the team to go, let's go in a different direction. 225 pound right hander throws another pick. He's following up with what Vic did. It's a third takeaway. Lonnie Elam has one now. But look at the catch at the end here. Watch this. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. That's casual. And short of the goal line. Is Kendrick Rogers and the ball came out. Texas State able to pounce on it, and the play still hasn't been whistled dead. Finally taken down, and Texas State gets the ball right back. Killing Spring, Texas had the recovery. Well, that's just a great job. You're tied on defense, wrap up, and if you don't have hold of the guys, you're going to the ground, rip that ball out. Four man rush, Jensen pressured, and he goes down. Tyree Johnson forced him into the pressure. On Johnson, you can see him coming off this side, but really both sides squeeze this pocket straight into the lap of Jensen. Watch Tyree 
Johnson on the left side there. Look at the leverage. Gets underneath the pads after the quarterback off the edge. Here comes pressure. Mon with a rope, and that's good for a first down to Jamon Osborne. The transfer from Miami, he's a big body on the outside. I think they're going to be just fine. Mon, end zone. Oh. Whoa, what a snag! A one-hand interception by the senior, Brian London. He was excited to play on this big stage. Backfield, but the linebackers are not fooled. They sit back, and Kellen's got to put that ball up a lot higher than he did on that one. The only mistake we've seen from him tonight. That you need to have an attack visual in the in the play, uh, not just kind of incidental contact. The defender actually has to be going after the player. Another to, uh, AM interception, and the Aggies get their fourth of the night. It's a second for Miles Jones. To come with pressure, picked up that batted away, and Brian London had the interception bowed in Athens. Athens, Ohio. We said, Brian, there's going to be a few more people there. Step in the SEC. And Jared Garantano. <laughs> Tano. I can't get it. <laughs> Garantano. We're just going with it. He's going to have a big year, I think. Hayes fights. Uh, pardon me. A little bit more manageable for Texas State. Pressure coming up the middle. Jensen on the run. Across his body. Incomplete. Isaiah Spiller is in a tailback. So they've gone second string there. Spiller's got a first down. He's got more. He's in a foot race now. Can he win it? Spiller pulling away to the 30, 20, 10. And he went airborne to try and get in, but he's dragged down just outside the one. That is an 86-yard sprint. Both teams will get a couple extra days off. Clemson in action tonight at home. Fade route. Caught. Jamon Osmond. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And right now, Kellen Mond is hotter than a Popeye's chicken sandwich. And leave those defenders in coverage to face Trevor Lawrence. Clemens gets a breather here. He's 6'5", 270. Press Jensen lets it go incomplete. Trying to get it to Jamari Sharif. Talked about mentally, physically, he's going to challenge you. On third and six, Calzada has it tipped at the line of scrimmage and that'll bring up fourth down you have a chip on your shoulder to prove them wrong they're always on you to try to get you better so Jimbo definitely at least not anymore I don't know yes he will because they're healthier and better on the defensive side of the ball I mean last year they were down early in so many games they had so many injuries around him he tried in the two minute drill Spavadol is going to have a lot of good film to evaluate and teach off of for his quarterback moving forward which will be Jensen Great catch, and they'll move the chains again. Not a top three offensive line for the Oregon Ducks going against what I believe is the best defensive line in college football in Auburn. Starting a true freshman quarterback in both oh, legs. That was a fantastic catch by Travis Graham Jr., but it came with the flag. Pass interference on the defense, number 28. That penalty is declined. Result of the play is a touchdown. It's a go route, taking a shot here. Gets behind the defender, throws a little late, <laughs> so it's a little behind, and sometimes those work out best. See the corner. He has gone four for nine out of the bullpen. Richardson again. AM will get a few extra days to rest, recuperate, and prepare for one of the top teams in college football as they go to Clemson next week.